I'm just saying, listen, man, we just trying to be good people out here. That's all we trying to be is good people, man. Um, you said which route do I like to see the builder going 25? I don't care about the builder. I'm from being honest. Um, you know what I you know what I want to see for the builder, bro? You know what I'm saying my my bad to change subject. My bad to change subject. You know what I see for the builder in 2K25, bro? You know what I see, bro? You know what they gotta do, bro? They gotta stop giving us 85 overall bills, man. I'm done, man. I'm sick and tired of it, bro. Give us a true 99 overall build, bro. If you take any of these builds out here that you make in my career and you make and take those same exact stats and go to the create a player and put all them stats the way that they supposed to be, bro. High 80s at the most. I don't think I've ever seen a 90 plus from the stats that we get on my career. That's what I see. That's what I see. Give us true 99s. Give us true 99s. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So, chat, when do y'all want to get into that, uh, into that Joe No shit? Did, do anybody know about that Joe No shit? You know what I'm saying? Do anybody know about that? I think, I think, I think we should talk. I think we should definitely, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we just ordered some catfish? Ooh. Ooh. I'm on that. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, bro. We going, like, I got to watch his video. I want to hear his, uh, his POV of it, though. Like, I've been trying to keep up with certain stuff in the 2K community. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really keep up with too much of the news, the builds, the creator builds, the, the jump shots, the dunk packages, the dribble. Like, I'm kind of, like, over that. I've been doing that for over 15 years, worrying about, you know, animations and all that. Like, I know what works for me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't really get too much into that. So, you know, when I heard about this Joe No stuff, I'm like, yo, what you mean? Then I seen Chalk tweet, and I was like, hold on. I was like, oh, there's some shit. And it like it stemmed like right after like a whole bunch of content creators got together for like a big recording session. Like a couple days later, this hit. I'm like, what? I'm like, yo, the content creators really chilling right now. Like, what's going on? Like, why they ban my man? Like, what's going on with it? So I definitely want to see what's up with that. Um, you been trying to get a pro am team? Oh, yeah. It's just it's just one of the games where um, all right, so look, so so look, we can do this, chat. Let's let's go ahead and um react to his drum. Y'all trying y'all trying to react to his uh his video? What's up? All right, so boom. When I seen this joint hit my sub box on YouTube, I was like, man, I was like, I'm not gonna watch this video unless it's with the gang. IKC Nation, we need to we need to really talk about the way that the 2K community is going right now, bro. And like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I ain't really been feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been I've been hitting for months. Like, I'm really not feeling this shit. And, and you know what's crazy, bro? The funniest clip of 2024. No, not even 2024. Of 2K24. Not, not just a year. Is when Joe Knows was talking about the people using right stick ripper. The big locks. Like, the heavy set locks. Bro, that shit was the funniest clip I have seen all year like y'all are talking about the fact that my build is not going to be in league build neither is a fucking 6-6 fucking shooting guard with 80 to 90 standing dunk neither is a fucking lockdown with 90 perimeter 99 steel 85 fucking speed 95 fucking strength 90 standing dunk like come on i'm playing against this fucking lockdown foaming out the fucking mouth his fucking pupils are dilated he's fucking locked in i gotta be locked in too take this fucking dunk meter boy damn you know what i'm saying why the fuck do i have to water my build down when these fucking lockdowns don't yo listen if i'm fucking running point guard and I stand here for two seconds, the motherfucker's right stick fucking ripper in my shit. I'm fucking running like this, trying not to get plugged. But I gotta water my build down? Like, goddamn realistic. The fuck are we talking about? What the fuck are we talking about? These motherfuckers, bro, they're making fucking 300 pound Fucking lockdown builds like fucking this. Fucking run stick. Fucking rippering. What the fuck? But that shit's gonna be in the fucking league build. Oh, that's in league build. My bad, brother. Like, come on. Nothing can top that shit. If anybody got any clip 
from 2K24 that can top when Joe knows is talking about niggas right stick rippering and shit like that. Bro, send it to me, bro. DM it to me on Twitter or whatever the case may be. Bro, I'm telling you. All right, all right, look, look, look. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's crazy times in the pro-am community, man. They're banning me from leagues and tournaments. Not all of them, but multiple. I've already been banned from... Yo, first of all, Joe. Joe, why you start with the sad music, bro? <laughs> all right, so chat, let's read this, bro. UHL front office. What? Oh, hold on. So they banned his whole team? And not just one player, they they banned the whole black market? No way. Three different pro -am leagues because teams will not sign up if they see that my team is playing. But recently, an overnight tournament known as Legacy Basketball Overnight banned me from playing in the tournament. They tweeted about it and straight up said, listen, he can't play because if he plays, a lot of teams will not sign up and we make less money. Now, my problem with that is the overnight tournaments run until like three, sometimes five, sometimes 7 a.m. There's no casual players playing the overnight tournaments. It's only super sweaty pro-am players playing in these overnights. Now, what makes it even crazier is it's not even that my team is banned. My teammates are allowed to play. I'm not allowed to play. My boy Hoff DM the league and literally asked them, hey, put us in the overnight tournament. They said, are you playing with Joe? He said, yes. He said, unfortunately, no can do. It's crazy. When I first started Black Market a year ago. Yo, what? No, that, yo, all right. What, what did Joe do? It, are we seriously going to blackball somebody because you, you can't make money because teams won't sign up? If his team sign up, that sounds crazy. That sound crazy, bro. Yo. <laughs> we were laughed at. You're going to run five out in the comp scene and think you could win and blah, 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 blah. And now I'm being banned from leagues and tournaments. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. If you guys have been on Twitter or you've been in the Twitch streams nightly that I stream on Twitch, definitely come through if you haven't. But if you've been on either of those platforms, you've seen the outrage, just the, everyone talking about it. It's pretty crazy, man. I don't know where this is going to go, if I'm going to get unbanned, if more leagues are going to take advantage of this, because honestly, from a business perspective, it's probably smart. If more teams will sign up because they know I can't play in it, then your league is going to make more money. From a business perspective, it makes sense. From a moral perspective, it's supposed to be comp pro-am. If you don't want certain competitive players in there, is it really comp pro-am? Yo, yo, Winnie. Is, yo, this sounds crazy to me. Just to think, players don't even want to sign up. Even if it's it, like completely free entry, you don't want to sign up for a pro-am tournament or even put your money on the line because you're scared of Joe? Because you're scared of Joe? And then they got his teammates reaching out to actual pro-am leagues saying, yo, can we join? You got Joe with y'all? Yeah, of course. Nah, brother. Nah, brother. I'm sorry, but you can't join. Oh my God, bro. What? Yo, comp equal complain. That is crazy. Yo, we've been getting flooded in the PNR. Yo, this is crazy, bro. I had a whole video planned. I was 99% to veteran three. I was gonna play the legacy overnight tournament, try to win it and hit that three in the finals. So what am I gonna do now? We're heading to the theater and we're gonna take our anger out on some poor souls in the 1v1 court. First, I wanna give a shout out to the spot. Oh man, hold up, that's it? That's it? Oh, oh, Joe got me, bro. I thought this was about to be like 10, 15 minutes of him talking about like every instant that these people came at him, but he had to hit that veteran three. I like that title though. That tight nigga, that title had me clicking, bro. I waited. I, I think I waited like almost 24 to 48 hours to, to do this, bro. 
You said a uh, brutal, uh, some got a breakdown? Hold on, hold on. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Cool, you in the right space. You Hold want clips? Let's, subscribe. Now. Let's let's see let's see what let's see what Bruno got to say about this. You said where your prize picks? I don't I don't bet, bro. I don't I don't I don't, I don't really be. You know what I'm saying I don't gamble for real. I'm really I'm really a lame. I'm a square. That's what I am. That's what I am. Now we ring the bell, then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners, soldiers up in formation. We hey, yo. all kill. Hey yo, chat, if you don't know who that rapping on the track, that's my boy Jive Turkey, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get get in tune, bro. He, that's the same one that made the iPod King Carter drum, bro. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you don't know. Your boy bro toss him on the scene wicked and mean with a next video Yo Hey yo chat Is is his is he out of sync or is that or is that my computer lagging? I'm I'm gonna play it a little bit more. Let me know if I'm if I'm lagging or not for y'all man so we don't get straight into the news so don't forget to like share and subscribe we're making a push for that 200k it's on the way now this whole joe knows a comp scene situation with the bands just got more interested joe knows put out a few bits damn it chat him lagging yeah him lagging bro him yeah he ain't sync the audio out right he ain't sync the audio right hey yo hey brutal Punch your editor for me, bro. Just one time, bro. But I'm I'm finna watch this joint, but make sure you punch your editor, all right? You know what I'm saying? Ain't no reason the editor couldn't line that up, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's 2024, bro. Videos, of course. We're gonna check out this first one right here. To me, it sounds like he's calling them low IQ as players. Let me know your thoughts. So let's check this clip out. So I open the timeline and I just see like everyone talking about me, my team, play style. And these are coming from like people that I think are like pretty good pro-am players. And here, here's what I'll ask you guys. First like, shot. You hate playing against us because of the style of play you say. Like, isn't that the biggest compliment? Like if it's difficult to play against, aren't, aren't I, or aren't we, however you want to word it, just playing, playing the game smarter then? Like, you guys, like, you said we run five mm. out. Like, that's the base set. But a lot of what we do is matchup hunt. That's exactly what LeBron, Luka, all these guys in the NBA do, in, especially in crunch time of the NBA. Like, JJ and LeBron just talked about it on the pod. Like, you bring the worst defender on the other team into the action every play. The fact that you guys run pick and roll against the lock and the back end, the two best defenders on the court, isn't that just, like, isn't that just not smart basketball? Shit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Shots fired! Like, why not bring the worst defender into the pick and roll? Why not bring the worst defender into an overload set? Why not make the worst defender on the court guard a slip or a cut every possession, even if you don't go to that player, but make the work the defense because they have to account for the worst defender on the court, like? Isn't that just smart pass? Why do y'all hate on that? That's literally just playing with your head. But that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Did he give away the... Hey, yo, Chad, I ain't gonna lie. Joe talking. The sauce? <laughs> it's something like he calling the comp players low IQ players here. Am I misinterpreting this? Now, let's check out this next clip from his new video. Of course, check it out on his channel. Let's check this clip out. It's crazy times in a pro am community, man. They're banning me. Okay, we just watched that. We just watched that. Hold on, let me see. I will never work in the comp scene. It will never work. We will destroy that. <laughs> no, they're scared to play the five out. I'm done. It's crazy, man. Okay, hold it's on, hold on. I can't make no, this we got, up. We got, we got it. We got it. Really? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, y'all. Oh, he. Oh, all right, all right. See, that's the that's the thing about skipping ahead through shit. He reacting to him going to the theater. 
<laughs> oh, this is too much. This is too much. We're gonna end it right there. I can't watch him play Terra Terra. Y'all could go to his channel and check out that gameplay. But they literally banished him all the way to Terra Man. Now I have to say this. I gotta put this out. Legacy Basketball Association did put out a notice because, of course, they, they were the people who was running the the pro -Am league that Joe Nose were talking about. So they made this post yesterday saying, after looking into what the community has to say, in all mm -hmm. fairness, with at Block Market 2K, which is Joe Nose team, and banning Joe Nose, we would like to let everyone know this ban have been lifted. It has been with us like family ever since we hosted our first $500 open tourney. Welcome back, boys. And then... Oh, come on, bro. Nah, bro. Fuck that apology, bro. I don't... At that point, I don't want that crumb shit. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. If I'm Joe, I'm starting my own Pro-Am League, bro. I'm starting my own Pro-Am League at this point. If, if multiple leagues is banning you and then some people trying to backtrack and, and say, you know what? I don't want to be on the wrong side of history. Let me go ahead and invite you back. Put out a weird ass tweet like that. It's some nut ass drawn ass shit. If I'm being honest, that shit weird. You know what I'm saying? That shit is absolutely weird for you to say somebody been with you and is like family since your first ever tourney. You should be. Backing that person from the get go, not backing other leagues and shit, and trying to follow it away, follow it away. That be that be that be that shit, bro. That be that shit, bro. And and that's why I always say, bro, I don't give a fuck what nobody say about me, bro. I'm gonna do what I do because I know it's people out there talking in the background, being weird. And trying to stop your bag, stop your hustle, stop your fun, stop your friendships. Because essentially, that's what all that shit do. Just imagine, Joe knows playing pro in with these guys. Just loving the moments, loving what they do. Everybody locked in. Everybody talking daily. Gaming with people. To the point where now these guys can't even compete. Everybody on Joe team, not a Joe knows. Everybody don't got YouTube. Everybody don't got Twitch. Everybody not hustling and grinding the content creator path. Other people grinding like, yo, Joe. I know you're going to put us on this platform and we're going to ball the fuck out. And we're going to win these tournaments. And I know you're going to help us split this pot the right way. And we're going to eat together. But now, all these pro-am leagues don't want to bop, bop, boop, bam. And now look, now you got niggas backtracking because they don't want to be on the wrong side of history. That shit is so absolutely weird, bro. Hey, yo, when if you got an ad, bro, exclamation prime, bro. This is what's interesting. I want y'all to read this with me slowly. I will post it up there big. I want y'all to read it with your boy. Say, those who also don't wish to play Joe Nose can be in the casual. They should have put casual in all caps because that's what most of y'all are that mm. think y'all want to call yourself calm. Okay? They say, we're going to put y'all and y'all could be in the casual tier bracket versus competitive bracket. Although competitive bracket will be pricier OVN cause which equals to more money opportunity just remember you all need to go in the yo non-stop appreciate the big five gifted bro skunk hey, killum has just subscribed non-stop ball in 24 gifted a tier one sub to skunk killum yo everybody in the chat yo make sure y'all make sure y'all show him some love make sure y'all thank him make sure y'all thank him in the chat Make sure you thank him. Don't don't sit up there. You know Forty mean? Chuck Two K has just subscribed. Non-stop ball in twenty four. <laughs> gifted a tier one sub to Forty Chuck Two K. Somebody clip this. Send it to Brutal Sim and tell him we got him a new emote, yo. <laughs> Somebody go tell Brutal Sim. has just subscribed. He got an emote right now, bro. Non-stop ball in twenty four. <laughs> gifted a tier one sub to YXN oh Gwen. They have given fifty two gift subs in the channel. Yo. Appreciate that. Appreciate them gifted, bro. Yo, that's a that's an emo right there, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. That's a crazy emo right there. Hey, yo, Black Yana, what's good? All right, so so about let's let's listen to what Brutusum got to say. Casual bracket. If y'all don't want to play against Joe knows, that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say right there. That's enough said. 
A lot of y'all, oh, I'm a comp player. I, I, I play pro am and I go in tourneys. But as soon as y'all see something, y'all scared to run up against y'all back. Oh, no, 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 no. We ain't running no five. We ain't want to play against no five out. <laughs> no, 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 no. We do not want to play against no five out. No, this person here responded to Joe knows. He said all this victim card bull stuff. Okay, I'm going to try to censor it as much as possible. <laughs> so get over yourself. Nobody's scared of y'all. We all just despise five out. And it's been that way for years. Shouldn't be news to you. And then Joe Knowles responded right here saying, All this whiny little kid BS. He said, get over yourself. You're not scared? Let's wager. Your team versus mine. I'll give you... Two to one odds. You win, you get two thousand dollars. I win, I get a thousand. You talk about us daily, so let's put on a show. You in, or you tucking that tail between your legs? <laughs> hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Joe be out here spitting. <laughs> yo, nah, that's that's cra That's a crazy tweet, bro. That's a crazy like. That's literally like, what you going to do now? What you going to do now? Like, it's tweets like these is why people don't go out and fight in the street no more. The, it's tweets like these, bro. This is the reason people don't fight no more, bro. <laughs> this is literally the reason, bro. That's crazy. Two to one odds, bro. It's like Ben and Scump and Cop, bro. That's, see, uh, and I'm going I'm to I'm talk my shit after, after we uh, get finished this video. I'm going to talk about what I, what, like, how I feel about this shit. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Yo, there are a bunch of people commenting, but I can't cover that all of that. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That's enough for today. I can't give y'all too much. But let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think. Is this calm scene really? Come on, my G. Come on, my G. All y'all are fraud. Most of y'all, not all, but most of y'all are frauds, bro. Most of y'all don't even have the IQ. Joe No just said it in his video. He said, Yo, it's not just five out. And this is what people don't understand about five out. Five out is the setup, right? It's a setup. So if Joe Nose could kill the person that is defending him all day, he's gonna do it. But if he see a weaker player somewhere, he caught okay, yo, they're trying to hide that PG. Yo, come up here, come up, run that pick and roll, run that, run that pick and roll, backdoor that weak ass PG. And of course, they're gonna be they're gonna force the team to help because the team themselves know. That, that PG ain't got no defense and then he could probably move the ball accordingly but what can I say man now Joe knows don't even have defense on his player either to be honest with y'all so y'all got the sauce how y'all could actually you know channel. hey yo essence J <laughs> welcome to the stream bro <laughs> Joe knows <laughs> But let me know what y'all think about the video, man. Y'all know what it is. Your boy see, am I having too much fun with all this? <laughs> the drama continues. Of course, this is what episode three. <laughs> what's what's gonna happen for episode four? Stay tuned. Don't forget, man. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. How that's one. All right, chat. All right, so 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 so. Listen, listen, listen. <sighs> All right, Essence. I see that. I see that you're a first time chatter in here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm guessing. I'm guessing you are on the anti Joe Nose bandwagon, as I can see. So you said that the meter is broken this year. Um, you said that without the meter, Joe Nose is pop. You said that he's not a good enough dribbler to play the PNR. Hold on. Oh, so you fuck with Joe Nose, but you just you calling the spade a spade. It's his year is what I'm saying. But wouldn't his year have been last year? Wouldn't his year have been the year before? I mean, the dunk meter has been good for like the last three 2Ks. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I, I feel like the dunk meter has been good for the last three years. Am I, am I talking out of turn right now? Or that's, that's just the way that I feel. The meter is completely unstoppable this year. I don't know. You said last year you missed. I'm not going to lie, bro. I played a lot of NBA 2K23. And when I was pulling that dunk meter out, I was ramming shit. And I was using a Comet dunk meter style, too. I was I was ramming shit. My shit was green all the time. Now, now I'm going to be honest. 
with the dunk meter this year, I remember when 2K24 first came out and a lot of people was having problems with the dunk meter. Like a lot of people was having problems with that joint, but I think 2K had either buffed something or changed something or something like that that may have made the dunk meter a little bit more OP. But from 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 what I what I've seen, bro, I've 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 fucked up a lot of dunk meters. I've saved a lot of people. And that's probably because I play lock, but I've saved a lot of people from not getting mangled. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, I can't I can't be I can't lie. There, there isn't really ever a situation where I would leave just a guard on their own against somebody who may have that dunk meter. I always try to help and jump at them. But I'm not going to lie. If it's a guard out there and they getting stuck in that dunk meter animation, they're going to have to live with that, with that low interior, that low perimeter, that low strength. They're going to have to deal with that. But you know what I'm saying for the most part, like I don't get... I don't get dunked on all night long. If that, if, if, if I can make that make sense to you now, let's talk about the way that I feel about the whole wanting to ban Joe, wanting to, wanting to ban the five out style, wanting, wanting to try to get all the leagues on the same accord with banning just one team and blackballing just one team because they're winning the pots because they're doing this. How about you do a partnership? How about you do something where black market doesn't have to play, but maybe we throw a pre-tournament for the chance to win even a bigger pot against black market. How about that? How about do something with one of the top teams in the pro-am scene to make even more money, not cut them out to get your nickels and dimes off the other teams. I feel like that shit is fucked up. And it's and, and, and yo yo CJ, you know what's crazy, bro? I got a three v three pro am tournament coming up soon. I got one coming up soon. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get Joe Nose and I'm gonna try to sign up. That's what I'm doing. Matter of fact, I'm gonna hit him right after I right after I stream. I'm gonna hit him and be like, yo, I don't know if y'all do three v three, but I'm gonna be hosting a tournament soon. Let me know. And then we gonna we gonna we gonna make it rock like that because it's crazy to me that people would literally not sign up for a tournament. Like for instance. Two tournaments that I've hosted back to back, one team has won on one uh, side of the uh, bracket, which was the Xbox side. And on the PlayStation side, uh, two different teams won one year and the year after. But it's like, you can't get mad at people for trying to win, trying to get money for their teammates, trying to, like, it's, it's, it's the same exact thing as when LeBron was like, why wouldn't I give my all in these end season tournaments? Because some of these players don't got the contract that I got. Some of these players need this in season tournament money to, you know what I'm saying, help their families. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. It's crazy to me, bro. It's just, I just, I just see it as weirdo activity for all of the pro am leagues to all try to DM each other on the side, getting little private calls, getting little zooms, or however they did it to try to blackball Joe Nose and Black Market just to make money. That's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and yeah, we could talk about morals. We could talk about, you know, the, the cut the, the cut of the cloth. We could talk about all that. But I just see it as fucked up to say, hey, we want to rob more people to be in these tournaments to give them a chance to win. So, okay. So let's say let's say you throw 10 tournaments after you blackball uh black market, right? And seven out of those 10 tournaments, another team wins. Are you going to blackball them? Are you going to blackball every single team that gets three to five wins in all, in your overnight tournaments? Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to blackball every team who is successful in these tournaments and win? Are you willing to do that? Or are you just doing this because it's Joe knows it's the five out and you're scared of that? What are we really talking about? What are we really talking about here? You know what I'm saying? Because if you got a pro-am league coming here talking about we're going to backtrack our, our previous statement, we're going to welcome back Black Mark and Adrenal, what the fuck you mean we going to welcome them back? It was one of your biggest supporters in the beginning. What do you mean bringing them back? They should have never left. You should have had more heart. You shouldn't have been less pussy. Now, all of a sudden, y'all want to have 
Oh, super duper wordplay. Oh, you could just join the casual bracket instead of the competitive bracket. No, man. Y'all should have made up that competitive bracket in that in, in that casual bracket while saying Joe knows and them ain't going nowhere. We support them. Like th this shit is crazy, bro. You got to think about. Uh, you said people scared of the five out, I, bro. Five out. Okay, so let's talk about the five out for a moment, right? Everybody knows that if you could do five out, that means that obviously you have a good connection. You're mm -hmm. wired. You're playing on a great monitor, which means you're grinning almost all of your dunks if you're dunking on the lesser opponent, right? You put the lock on them. You got the, the little guard in the corner going up against maybe a small forward getting cut zone back door. That's something you got to deal with. If, if you know that the five out is working and teams are winning with five out, where's the adjustment? I remember when the 2K League first came out and there were plenty of teams in the 2K League running five out. Everybody wasn't just doing PNR. The 2K League has been out for six years. Everybody wasn't doing PNR. People was doing five out too. So where's the adjustments? Like, like Joe said, where's the IQ in it all? Like, where's the matchup breakdowns? What? It, and it's crazy because... When you're playing PNR, right? Like he said, you're going up against the top two players on the team defensively. You have to understand that. You have to understand when you're playing pick and roll offense, you're playing up the person that dominates playing the paint. And you're going up against the per person that dominates playing the perimeter. And you want to call that sweaty? You want to call that that's the best matchup of all time to keep doing that night in and night out? And then you got people coming in five out saying, hey, little guard, we love you. <laughs> Move. <laughs> you can't be mad at that, bro. You have to adjust, bro. You have to adjust. And, and, and I'm going to be honest with y'all, chat. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I feel like it's one of those things where, hey, if Joe Nose can do it, we could do it. Because I know that there's people out here that grind builds and even players who want to maybe grind builds for a tournament. Why not have a setup ready? Why not have a five out setup ready? Why not practice that a little bit? You know what I'm saying? And then this is the crazy thing, right? If Joe knows can't dribble that good from what y'all said in the chat, if y'all feel like he can't dribble that good and he still get his, his uh, way to the lane, what about the people that can dribble? Wouldn't that make them better than Joe knows with the ball? If they can dribble, shoot, dunk, lay up, fade in a five out isolation situation, wouldn't that technically make them better suited to win? Or, or now would they complain and say, Hey, Joe knows teammates are just too, too, too devious and too many, too many demons on this team on defense. I can't score. I can't, I can't, can't do this. Can't do that. <laughs> That shit sound crazy to me, bro. It, it it really do sound crazy to me, bro. For y'all to be really mad at Joe Nose in the five out to ban him from program leagues, bro. That's crazy. And then you said, I would love to see a Joe Nose playbook. <laughs> bro, listen, and you know what's crazy, bro? Five out consists of so many different things, right? So boom. If if you're in a five out situation and you're the point guard, right? And you're ISO in. Let's say, let's say top middle, right? You're isoing up top and you got your hash sitter. You got, you know what I'm saying? Two hash sitters, one, one deep hash because that's your long range shooter. One close to the line. Then you got two people in the corner, right? Of course, what if you had just small forward that is possibly, you know, on that lock, you know what I'm saying? In the corner against that point guard and you decide to send him flaring up to the hash and send the person that's on the hash, that's another pretty good dunker, cutting to the paint. That's the play. Then you also can have your power forward in the opposite corner, cut, you know what I'm saying, against maybe a slower power forward, or, you know what I'm saying, they might have came down and didn't get set, and they're not going man-to-man -man with it, and you got the center on the power forward, and the power forward is much faster, that's a cut. You know what I'm saying? What if you got the center coming up and setting a screen for one of the people that was close to the to the line on the hash and that person pops to the corner and the center cuts 
And now you that those two guys in the corner on the left side got to choose who's going to do what in that situation. It only takes a person two to three plays to get beat to possibly be six points or possibly 12. Like that's just how that's just how it goes, bro. But Carter, we have six three guards. Your nose for strength in this build. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what what you expect? What you expect, bro? What you expect? You like this 2K is different this year. Everybody knew that strength had to matter this year. Everybody. Since the day the game came out, I don't fucking know why everybody is still so fucking stuck in 2K fucking 19, bro. Get fucking over it bro 2k19 is gone 2k20 is gone get the fuck over it bro 2k16 is gone 2k17 is gone get over it bro adjust 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 i say this shit every single year bro those games are going those play styles are going bro 2k21 for next gen dropped Everybody made a six, seven power forward and was out there playing like Giannis, LeBron, KD, all these niggas jumbled up in just a great ass chocolate cookie. Everybody played like that, bro. 22 came out. Niggas was like, oh shit, we ain't got the six, seven bill, but guess what? I heard, I heard this, I heard this new little six, nine, six, eight John is out. Everybody want to be Ben Simmons now. Let me see what that is. And then y'all know what happened with 23. Y'all know what happened with 23. That motherfucking 6 9 came out. That motherfucker could do everything. It could defend. It could slash. It could quick first step. It could step back. It could shoot. It could dunk. It could lay up. It could jelly. It could do every goddamn thing. So you mean to tell me y'all haven't been seeing the PG struggle for the last four years? 21 22 23 and now 24 y'all ain't been seeing that these little ass guards been struggling y'all ain't been seeing now granted everybody says hey man we can three hunt we can three hunt it's gonna be okay we can three hunt what happens when you miss and they come down to get a two then you miss again and now they get another two then you miss again and they get another two now you got to make two threes after missing three and you got to get stops. This is a game of runs, right? So if you telling me you going three hunt playing pick and roll against the two best players in a, in a comp sweaty pro-am and you mean to tell me you going to get these buckets, you're not going to get these buckets, bro. Joe knows going to come down and just dunk on your shit. He going to dunk on you. He going to dunk on you. You're not going to dunk back. Cool. But he going to dunk on you on the next play too. <laughs> you said 25 finna be the year of Wimby builds. I mean, I doubt it. I don't think 2K wants their game to go in that direction to the point where you can't stop at least three players on the court. Now, granted, I've seen, you know, especially last year, I saw six eights and six nines dominate the 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 wreck i seen that they all could do everything they all had lebron james dunk packages they all could do quick first step they all had a, a crazy ass step back that you had to fucking guard i seen that last year this year it's not as crazy as it was last year now this year you need a bigger big to get them boards you're going to get outboarded this year last year them six nines was able to snag them boards crazy but this year you need a bigger big um layups do go yo lando Layups do go crazy this year. And that's the thing. I play it with Raunchy and them so many times to know, like, yo, once you get them layups going, bro, it's up. Like, them layups is crazy. Like, fuck having to dunk on somebody. If you get enough space and you get that scoopy, it's up. It's over, bro. Um, do you enjoy the dribbling this year? Um, if I'm being honest with you, no. And I'm gonna tell you why I don't I don't enjoy it. I believe that there should never be a reason where any player of NBA 2K should have to wait or pay for animations. That plain and simple. 
And what I mean by that is some players have to pay for level skips because they don't have the time to put in the game to get their rep to unlock certain animations that's doing the season. Now, granted, some animations are given, which is okay. But why do we have to wait six weeks to get the animation that we love? We see when we play. I knew you. Was, I knew it. Stop. <laughs> but why do we have to? <laughs> why do we have to wait at all? If we play play now and we see all these different dope players, you know what I'm saying, animations and stuff like that, why do we have to wait for them for my career? Why? It's not it's not my career anymore. It's it's waiting career. It's literally a waiting game. You literally wait until you can like literally grab or pray to God that 2K rolls out this dribble that you saw, this spin that you saw, this crossover that you saw, this behind the back that you saw on day one. That's what we got to wait for. Come on, man. Come on, man. Crazy. 2K got so boring, man. Um, I maxed out my two way three level threat. Now what type shit? I mean, that's true. That's true. It's, it's like, what what else is there to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's and that's where I stand. That's why I like with me. I just been doing like little bullshit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like today we doing random wreck. We're going to hop in a wreck with randoms and just bullshit around. You know what I'm saying? Just. And just have fun that way. You know what I'm saying? Not not trying to get all comfy and all that bull crap, but just just have a little bit of fun with the game, laughing at players and laughing at myself, you know what I'm saying, in case I can't hit my shots. You know what I mean? That's all. I think but but before we get into some uh 2K random wreck, I just want to say to every Pro Am team out there, or I'm sorry, Pro Am League out there that decided to ban a player in his team because you needed to make more money i feel like that is the wrong move if anything you should have got in contact with that team in contact with this content creator to possibly do a collaboration with your league to make your league more well known so that you can get more people to join your league and sometimes even say to them like hey maybe y'all can host or maybe you know there's a bracket where Maybe it'll take two weeks for a bunch of different pro am uh, teams to play each other until they got to try to dethrone the champ or de or take y'all crown. Do something like that, and and of course I don't want to say too much more because I know how the game go. You know what I'm saying I ain't no I ain't nobody consulting. I ain't gonna get paid for this, but y'all got to come up with better ideas than just blackballing people, man. That shit is fucked up. You know what I'm saying I know what it's like to be blackballed. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that shit is fucked up. No matter if your league ain't shit, no matter if your league don't really get no entries, no matter if you got the biggest league in the industry, it don't matter. It's still fucked up. And that's why we saw one of them pro-am teams want to not try to be on the wrong side of history because all it takes is a, a, a big little news. I'll let the pick that shit up and I guarantee you all that should have stopped. All that should have stopped. So, you know what I'm saying? It's good that they they came back and tried to double back and say, you know what? No, we're with we're with Black Market and Joe Knows, but that shit is fucked up. Straight up. Straight up, bro. You 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 wanna you wanna blackball people so you can make more money. Wow. Absolute wow. <sighs> crazy to me, bro. Like just hear just hearing that is crazy. We wanna make more money so we wanna blackball the entire team and his players. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, I buy. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, I buy. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong.